Hey, I'm Nate Navarro, and this is the H90 Harmonizer, the next generation multi-effect pedal from Eventide. As an avid user of Eventide's Factor and Dot 9 series, but personally never meshing with the H9's interface, I've been waiting years for this pedal. And I know many of you have been wanting Eventide's amazing algorithms in a more intuitive and functional interface, with more flexible foot controls and routing options, the ability to run multiple algorithms together, plus increased horsepower for better performance and even greater creative capabilities. It's all here in the H90. Before jumping into the meat and potatoes sounds from the H90, let's take a glance at its more inventive side. Here's a swell preset I made just in case I ever get to tour with Enya. Hear how long this tail is. Even if we're moving between two dual algorithm programs, we get true spillover. See, it's still ringing out, but I'm already in synth bass world, baby. I've got my foot switches set up in a real fun way here. Switch 1 is tap tempo, switch 2 engages the pulse, and switch 3 brings in a higher octave. I'll start by showing you the pulse. Now tap tempo. Bypassing pulse and engaging the octave. Eventide's modulation algorithms add gripping detail, subtle mono embellishments all the way through wide psychedelic textures. In this next example, I'll play my fretless Ritter bass and use only the piezo pickups as we cycle through a few of the H90's modulation programs. I want to show you a quick preset I made with the hot saws and harpagiator algorithms. I know that synth sounds aren't for everyone, but I just really enjoy how much the H90 can be used to spark creativity. This is an example for me.
Let's see how easy it is to create a classic bass tone program utilizing two algorithms in series. Okay, so here I have an empty program. Each preset is set to through, and we have them in the default series routing. Let's go to the preset library tab, and I'll start by adding EQ and compression to preset A. Here we have all the effects types, all the algorithms, and I can find what I'm looking for very quickly by selecting EQ, and there it is, the EQ compressor algorithm. You can go through and sample different settings, and for this use I like Bass Pre 2. So I'll select that, and dial things in further by going to the Parameters tab. First I'm going to set the gate a little lower. This 54 reissue that I'm playing has a relatively low output. We still want some gating though, because it helps cut out the single coil hum. Next I'll dial in the EQ by ear. These settings can vary quite a lot depending on your bass and amp. I'm running my Fender Precision 54 reissue into my Gensler Amplification Magellan 800 head, Bass Array 2103 SLT, and Bass Array 153 SLT cabs. So this sounds pretty good in the room here, maybe just a touch more compression to even things out. And I'm happy with how that's sounding. Now let's use preset B to give this tone some spatial context. I really like the sound of a good old fashioned cement reverb chamber, and I find that the room algorithm can achieve that sound. So back to the presets library tab, I'll select preset B, reset my filter, and search for reverb. Select the room algorithm, and in this case I like the room preset. Now back to the parameters tab, and we can dial in the sound of the room. Mix, delay, size, pre-delay. If you come across a control and you're not sure of its function, Eventide has every parameter of each algorithm described in detail on their website. This parameter is a level control for early and late reflections. Okay, I've dialed in everything to my liking, now I can name my program. I'll call it NN Classic Clean. And then save it. Easy as that. Now let's listen to an overdriven tone made from two algorithms in parallel. For this program, I have preset A running the new Weed Whacker Overdrive algorithm, and preset B providing a fat dub bass sound with the EQ Compressor algorithm. Through parallel routing, the audio signals are kept separate between the two presets, so my overdrive doesn't sound muddy from the low frequencies, and my lows remain constant when engaging or bypassing the overdrive. I set up the foot switches with these separate components in mind. We can bypass everything. Bypass the overdrive, but keep the big low end. And lastly, we can kick on a boost. Having three foot switches makes switching between any of these states so much easier. Thank you for joining me as I barely scratched the surface of the H90 from Eventide. You can find out more information at eventideaudio.com. I'm Nate Navarro. Take care.